I came up here when I was nine, ten years old because they had a merry-go-round. And I loved Carlin Park and I loved that merry-go-round. Every time my father said he was coming up to Baltimore to check out the hot shop in Carlin Park, I came along and rode on a merry-go-round. The Marriott's in Baltimore go back a long way. And now this historic site near the Inner Harbor at President and Lombard Streets will be the future home of Fairfield Inn and Suites. The property was home to beer breweries for decades, and now it will be the first green hotel in Baltimore. But before the groundbreaking, a toast with yeah, green we beer. We are going to have some green beer, so I'd like to all raise your glasses for a toast to a green hotel, uh, a great initiative in here in downtown Baltimore, and a great presence for Fairfield Inn and Suites. So thank you. The traditional groundbreaking followed, but there was nothing traditional about this Fairfield Inn and Suites development. Besides being green, it will also have minority ownership. We have two big initiatives going on in our company. One is the green initiative. We're trying to very hard to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And we'll do about 10 and 20 percent reduction by the year 2010. And the other one is the diversity initiative. We have over 400 hotels now that are diverse owned out of our 3,000 hotels and we hope to have another hundred in the next four or five years. The fact that there's a board member who actually oversees the diversity program and et cetera. So it made us convinced that this was something that we wanted to do and the kind of a company that we wanted to be associated with. To become certified as a green hotel, equipment from this old Baltimore brewery will be a part of the process. Rainwater will be collected in a tank and reused for irrigation. We're reusing and recycling some of the different materials in the building. Uh, we're designing the building internally to use 20% less electricity and 20% less uh, water consumption. As tourists walk down Heritage Way, there will soon be a new addition representing a new chapter in the history of Baltimore. Every time you look around the city and you see um, where there's been significant investment like this, it has uh, Marriott's name on it. When you look over on the east side, that was an area that was really um, not neglected, but the potential wasn't seen. And when that Marriott waterfront came to that area, it was like an explosion. You know, this land, this corner was going to be used by somebody. It was just a matter of who and when. And our, all our prayers have been answered. Everything I've seen so far is just super wonderful. I'd love to work here. I'd love to meet the people who stay here. The 154-room Fairfield Inn & Suites by Marriott at Historic Brewers Park is expected to open in the spring of 2009. So here in the heart of Baltimore, you have history, you have green, you have minority ownership, and you have beer. All the ingredients that make Fairfield and Suites a welcome addition to the neighborhood. From Marriott International, I'm Dasha Ross.